All right, welcome back. So uh, here we are on the page again, and we're going to go through this, um, all the different uh, features and, and sections of this page, kind of one by one. So uh, we're going to start with the edit page here in the, in the top uh, right-hand corner because we want to fill out uh, information uh, about us and, and our product or our brand. So click on the edit page, and then you, you come to this page here, and you see uh, down the left-hand side, you'll see settings, manage permissions, basic information, profile picture, um, featured resources, manage admin, uh, apps is applications, your mobile, and then insights is um, to see um, the interactivity that you have on your page, okay, once, once you get your page going, and then uh, a little help resource section. So um, what we want to do is to, uh, to go up to, we'll start uh, page by page here and explain uh, each of these different uh, features on here. So your settings, okay, at the very top here, and it says posting preferences. So you want to keep this checked. So basically this is saying that uh, if you have a, a, a profile on Facebook, right, so obviously I have a, uh, my own up here on the right, this is Reese Richards is my own profile, okay, on Facebook. But when I post onto a page, I don't necessarily want to post uh, I don't want that post to appear on my profile all the time. Okay, so if I click this, um, so if it's if it's checked, then I will post as if I'm I'm my own page, as if I'm posting uh, from Instantly Fall Asleep. Okay, if I uncheck this, then it will show up on uh, my personal profile. Okay, and it'll, it'll be posted as if it's Reese Richards posting, not Instantly Fall Asleep. So if I post. Uh, Without this, then it will be me personally posting. If I post, if I keep this checked, then it will be instantly fall asleep. The page will be posting. Okay, and here's uh, email notifications. Um, at the beginning, when you're first starting out, you might want to keep this checked, okay, and uh, have emails showing up so that you know when there's some uh, activity on your page. Uh, but actually, after you, your page starts to gain a little traction and you start uh, uh, gaining a lot more fans and more interactivity, then this will just get annoying. So. Um, you can leave it checked for now, okay, so there's no changes here, and then if you do want to change anything, just make sure that you, you click on the Save Changes button, okay, and then uh, Manage permiss Permissions, so um, this page visibility is if you uh, are working on the page and you don't want anybody to see it at the time, so if you uh, check Unpublish Page, then only the the admins that you have listed on the page, the only the administrators, uh, which would be selected by you, will be able to actually see the page. Okay, so uh, you can just leave that unchecked because there's no fans and there's no uh, no interactivity right now, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, country restrictions, if you just want it uh, set to a specific country, and down the side here you'll see what is this. Okay, and, and so if you're um, unsure of anything here, you can just click on this and it'll give you a full uh, description of, of exactly what that uh, section does. Okay, so uh, here it says only show this page to viewers in these countries. Okay, or you can hide the page from viewers in these countries. So if you just leave it blank, it will be worldwide. Um, age restrictions, so you have uh, um, some R rated content or something. Okay, you can uh, see alcohol related or gambling or something. Then uh, for the most part, we just leave it. Uh, we leave it to 13 plus, okay, so that basically means anybody. Uh, as long as your content obviously is not uh, um, uh, R-rated or, or as long as it's suitable for people 13 and, and over. And obviously uh, instantly fall asleep, sleeping tips and tricks and stuff is, is suitable for people 13 and over. And then the wall tab shows, okay, you can uh, show uh, all posts so that uh, um, everybody's posts basically is, is kind of what you want. So um, it shows that uh, uh, if a, a fan of yours comes up and posts something on there, then it, it'll show to everybody. Or you can choose um, just the page. So just you uh, posting as a page will be uh, the post will be seen there. Okay. Um, and we have expand comments on stories. So if you uh, make a post and people start commenting on it, um, you you want the the comments to show to other people that are seeing it. So uh, you want to keep this checked. Um, you don't want it to collapse, okay? Uh, because it shows a lot of interactivity on your page. And uh, this default landing tab, uh, we will actually get back to this in, a, in another video. This is a very um, helpful little feature. For now, we'll just keep it at the wall, and uh, we'll see in another video how we can utilize that to, to drive more traffic uh, and get more fans to our page. So here we are at posting ability. 
So people can write or post content on the wall. Yes, you want uh, fans to be able to post content or, or write content on your wall. You want fans to be able to upload photos. Okay. Um, people can add tags to photos. Um, this is up to you. You know, if you have a, if you have a photo, uh, maybe if you, you own a, a bar or a restaurant or a club or an event uh, um, company, and you have a lot of pictures on there with people. Um, inside of the pictures and stuff, then you want to be able to give the option to your fans to go ahead and tag. And by tagging, it, it just means that you're um, you're saying who the who is inside that picture, right? So say you have a, a group photo of an, an event that you went to uh, or an event that you held, and you have uh, you know 20 people inside this picture, then you don't know who they are uh, personally, but maybe your fans do. So your fans can tag them by by selecting them inside of the picture and uh, typing in their name okay so uh, if you have uh, uh, some type of photos that uh, that involve a lot of other people that your fans might actually know then you'll want to check that off as well okay and then people can add videos sure you know, if you want people to add videos and photos it, it uh, brings in more interaction okay this is a moderation block list um, so again if you're not sure just uh, hover over okay um, if you're unsure of any of these things, there's a little check mark or a what is this. So this says you can add comma separated keywords to the moderation block list. When users include blacklisted keywords in a post or in a comment on the page, the content will be automatically marked as spam. So what this means is that uh, if uh, somebody starts posting some some spammy stuff and you get an idea of, of uh, it's a certain keyword all the time, then maybe it's a competitor uh, and they keep on posting about their own stuff and it's very spammy and it doesn't add any value to to your page then uh, you can just put in a keyword in here and that will it'll mark it as spam as soon as it comes out and it won't be able to be seen on your page okay this is something that you can fill out uh, once you get started and you you actually start seeing uh, what people are posting okay so for the most part you don't need to worry about this right now okay um, and profanity so if somebody starts swearing on your page, um, I usually leave this to none. And then, I mean, if if somebody starts doing it, then you can, uh, or you have a, uh, um, you know, a lot of kids on your page, then you can put this up to medium or strong. And then you don't want to delete your page, obviously. So um, you want to save your changes that we made here. And uh, we'll stop there for this video, and I'll see you in the next video.